welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. Autumn. And Say. And today we are reviewing the Barbie Collector Wonder Woman doll. This is essentially the, you know, nice deluxe version of Wonder Woman. Obviously, you know, fresh off the coattails of her super successful new movie. Um, which we have watched. Um, at and first. we loved it. Yes, we would recommend it. It's a nice to finally see, you know, a quality DC movie in theaters. So yeah, Mattel, you know, of course has the rights to the DC characters, but yeah, this is essentially the higher quality, um, you know, collector's edition of Wonder Woman. Um, she is fully articulated, and uh, I'm pretty sure this is the Wonder Woman doll from Mattel that comes with the largest quantity of accessories, which we will show you guys after we open her. The packaging is pretty cool. Well, uh, the design on it is pretty cool. Um, but as a whole, it's a little bit simplistic, uh, considering the listing price for this doll is $44.99, so it's $45, you know, closer to $50 after tax. I might need to take her out and get a better feel for her before I decide whether or not I feel that that's an appropriate price. Um, but she does look very nice in box. Um, as you can see, the Wonder Woman logo is on the bottom of the box with the lasso of truth wrapping around the edges. Uh, the back of the box is pretty cool. It has a nice promo photo of the star of Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot, in her full Wonder Woman gear. It is a real photo of the actress. It looks, you know, super photoshopped, touched up, but... Um, and there is a brief little blurb about the character on the bottom. So if you're not familiar, you know, with the iconic superhero of Wonder Woman yet, you can learn a little bit about her. Um, you can see the Barbie logo in the lower left. Uh, as we mentioned, this is technically a Barbie doll, um, and you can kind of tell by the face mold. Um, so this is pretty much it for the packaging. Um, I think the packaging, I think the artwork and the design on the packaging is nice. Um, it's just... A little bit low quality in my opinion for you know kind of a pricey doll considering this is an almost $50 doll it would have been nice to have I don't know like a larger higher quality box with a sleeve or something like that um, this kind of looks like a standard like tear apart you know budget box I got this one from target.com which I would recommend doing especially if you have a red card because you get a discount um, so without further ado we will go ahead and open her up so this Wonder Woman doll does come with a certificate of authenticity. Um, unlike most of the ones that come with collector dolls, though, um, you know, there's no number on it or anything like that, like where she fell in the, you know, in the print line. But um, I think primarily because, to our knowledge, this is not a limited release of any kind or anything like that. But yeah, it's just a certificate to prove you've got the real thing. You know? All right, and here is Barbie Collector Wonder Woman out of box. She has a very regal face mold. She Pretty accurate of, to the character. It is. She has kind of a narrow face with full lips with, with some nice peach colored lipstick. Um, there is a very subtle amount of blush on her cheeks. Looks like she isn't really wearing any eyeshadow. Um, you know, the makeup is fairly simple and subtle. And she is wearing, of course, her classic Wonder Woman tiara. And her hair is, you know, the nice... What's funny is it, it almost, I mean, maybe it's just the shimmer to me, but it doesn't look like completely black. I feel like it is black, but the shimmer to it makes me feel like there's some... There's definitely brown in it. Yeah, there's like some brown mixed in it, and it has some nice curl to it. Um, and it's gelled um, sparingly, you know, so the hair itself still feels very nice. True to the movie, she's wearing the big uh, floor-length cloak. And the trim, there's a faux fur trim um, that goes down to the bottom, although the fur trim stops right here at the front. So the lining of the back is just, you know, just bare. But yeah, this is a nice cape. It's, it's pretty simple. It's pretty thin, but it looks nice. Yeah. That's yeah, it's a little bit translucent as you can see. Um, and it's pretty easy to remove, which we will do in the next shot so you can get a better look at her actual outfit. All right, and moving on to her iconic Wonder Woman outfit, the modernized version of it, yeah. <laughs> this is 
strapless. Is it bodice? Isn't it, is it bodice they call it? Yeah. Or, yeah. I think it's, yeah, an armored bodice. Mm. Classic red with an, I'm assuming that's an eagle coming out of the top mm. of it in gold. I wonder, and according to the movie's canon, what the W shape is supposed to signify. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe it is supposed to be more straightforward because I know the S on Superman's chest is like, you know not an S, technically, so... It's just simple. <laughs> yeah. Hope, I think, I yeah, something like that, but I'm not... Sh <laughs> yeah, but I'm not sure if it's, like, the same situation for Wonder Woman or not, but... Um, and yeah, she has her usual... If you can even call this a skirt, it's like... It's, it's pleated. Uh, yeah. I don't know if it makes the full... Yeah. <laughs> it makes a it's skirt. It's very, 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 very short. Um, you know, it's more just, like, a flap <laughs> that comes out from underneath her bodice. What's interesting is that it doesn't look like her um, her uh, glutes are blue colored. She just has like yeah. underwear on underneath. Yeah, that's the thing too is underneath is pretty much, yeah, just like a simple blue underwear strap. She comes with quite a few accessories as you can see. God killer. The first being her god killer sword, uh, which is very, very cool. Um, yeah, I, I love, like, almost all of her accessories. Um, cuffs. Yes, and her cuffs, of course. Well, what are those really called? Gauntlets? Um, I think it is the gauntlets, yes. Yeah. Yes, so her nice, powerful gauntlets. Crossbody strap that she uses as a holster for the lasso of truth. Yes. Which, what's really cool about the lasso is in this particular release, it is an actual little, you know, string um, that I think resembles real rope a lot more than the other, you know, mostly plastic lassos that the other releases come with. And you can actually remove this and, you I don't know, recommend it though. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that, but, <laughs> but you can do whatever you want with it. So if you wanted to create a scene of her wrapping it around someone, something like that, you could do so. Um, and yes, she has gauntlets, of course, on both arms. And her other very cool accessory is the shield. I have no idea if her shield has a name. <laughs> I don't know. Shield! Wonder Woman <laughs> shield, yeah. But that is very cool as well. It's a really detailed design. It's very striking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really It's got gorgeous. a nice finish to it. Yeah, very pretty. Love like that shield. Yes. Yeah, right there there's also some like little <laughs> Yeah, little armband with again, you know, the Wonder Woman symbol on it. What's funny, I'm really curious in terms of this body mold. This is definitely not like the standard Barbie body mold. I think there's a little bit more yes. muscle to her. So yeah, to talk real quick about her articulation, um, she is fully articulated, but it's just like the standard full articulation, which is pretty much just shoulders, elbows knees and waist and or wrists yeah she doesn't have waist. uh you, you yeah you can bend her to make her sit but it's not she doesn't have like a like a yeah like a torso or a breast joint yeah <laughs> moving on to her shoes they're like boots <laughs> i know that there's like good specific names for these things they're like the armored boots she wears in the movie and what's cool is there's a little opening right here through some straps where you can see part of her feet and with some armor along the top and a band in the back to keep the shoes on, which is funny. I don't even know if that's necessary because they look pretty snug as is, but yeah, I like these shoes and they have a very flat bottom, which makes it a little bit easier to make her stand on her own. I always appreciate that on Wonder Woman, that candy apple red. It's really nice. Um, even though it does look really nice on this doll, there's a part of me that wishes, especially since this is the deluxe release, I kind of wish for the red portions they would have gone out of their way to make, um, to make it somehow, you know, on camera it does look like a nice shiny candy apple red. In person it's a little more maroon looking, um, and not completely the, I don't know if I want to say texture, more like the, I don't know, the hue, the material that I'd like it to be. Um, it would be nice if they made it look more metallic, basically. All right, so these are our final thoughts on Barbie Collector Wonder Woman. You know, just as the current Wonder Woman movie is a very special movie for a couple different reasons, um, this doll feels like a very special doll um, in part because it is structured and comes with the accessories of um, 
you know, kind of heroism and like like an action figure, essentially, you know, which is usually a kind of nerd culture and superpowers, that kind of thing, which we don't get very often in um, doll releases. So I think I, I love that. I love the fact that I have a doll now that is, you know, kind of built to be put into action poses and has some really cool, like, epic looking weapons and, um, you know, it's, yeah, I think it's, it's special for the same reasons the movie is special. Um, we just don't get enough, uh, you know, awesome strong females portrayed in this way. Um, so I'm really happy to see this in doll form. Um, she's very beautiful, but also very cool. Um, she and still seems strong. Yes, definitely. So I'm very excited to photograph her. Um, I would definitely recommend her if you're into, you know, Wonder Woman and um, the DC Universe, um, you know, or if you're just kind of a, you know, superhero, nerd culture loving doll collector, this is a really great choice to buy. Um, I think the closest thing to a complaint that I have is, as I mentioned earlier, the packaging is a bit cheap considering how expensive the doll is, and um, I mean, granted, we've paid far more than $45 <laughs> for quote-unquote deluxe designer dolls, but um, yeah, I mean, for the most part, I actually, you know, when I look at the big scheme of things, I think it's a, it's a relatively fair price. I just, uh, and also something, sorry, real quick, we did not talk about this. Um, she, she comes with a stand, so y'all know what a luxury that is nowadays. <laughs> we only get that in deluxe releases, it seems. So, uh, she comes with a stand. The thing is, though, it's not a stand that you can attach her to at the waist. You have to attach it at her, um, Hi. almost like... Yeah, like upper her, her upper thigh, um, you know, but if you want to, you could still display her in box. Um, but yeah, overall, this is, this is a yes from me. $45. What that, can I say about $45? That's where it gets me. It's like... It's, for me, I like dolls with fabric. So I can understand Wonder Woman, her outfit's very form-fitting and it's armor. So I can say that it's plastic. I wish it's removable. I wish it was somehow you could take it off because she has a normal body underneath. Well, it's we not should. just straight up painted on though. It's molded and painted. Yeah, it's, it's not removable, but yeah. in my mind, so you can't remove it's it. A, so yeah, it's a, it is. It's a, it's a molded top. In my much higher quality than your usual molded or painted on top, but yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Um, so I mean, I wish if it that was the case, it would take it would have taken more time because it's like you know take more time into, you know, painting it better. That red is very different from what she wears in the movie. Like, this one's more like a cherry red, and the movie is a darker kind of, like, uh, metallic red. So, that comes off a little cheap to me. You know what's funny is, like, I'm complaining about $45, but my main point is I'd rather pay, like, $100 and get all the things that we've been complaining about. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> I think I still love the idea she's, so much. She, I, to me, she's not a collector doll. She's more of a Enthusiast. What's the term? Enthusi enthusiast? Yeah, like a for someone who's into Wonder Woman who wants to get a nice doll. I would not say she's a collector's doll where you display her and and like, wow, this looks like someone hand painted her, put her together kind of deal. Yeah, I mean, to me, this feels kind of like thirty, thirty-five dollar mm -hmm. doll to me, but mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so I still I'm, appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, it's weird because like then like you look at Batman and Superman, they have clothing. They have clothing. Do they really? Yeah, there's mm -hmm. the, there's clothes there's there's cloth on them. Oh, so even Superman, yeah. his skin tight whatever is not yeah. molded. You can take the clothes off. Huh? That yeah. surprises me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's, yeah. that's interesting, but um. But I like her cape. Oh, yeah. I don't know if there's a way to do her bodice to make it look both strong and have it be its own yeah. piece of fat. No, I understand. I understand just like, but at its price, like you, you said, Autumn, it's like at its price, this is what they can do. But maybe for $100, they could do a little bit harder. Uh, my expectations would go up quite a bit. If this was a $100 doll, I would be like, I want super metallic, high quality shoes and bodice. Yeah, I mean, at the price point, I it's want, fine. I want, like, whatever. luxurious I tape. It. Yeah, like, I get it. But at the same yeah. time, it's just like, it's not a doll for me. Is there a higher quality Wonder Woman doll than this no, on the market I'm not right sure. now? Not, not in the market. Didn't you say there? There well, there was there was a like Comic Con exclusive Wonder Woman doll, but that was um, 
that was older. Yeah. She looked similar to this because mm -hmm. she came with a cape and and all yeah. that. Yeah. All I'm saying is I'd be happy to pay sixty dollars more for something much more detailed. But at this price, I'd rather I don't know. At this quality, it's, it's I'd a weird, a it's a weird med medium where like there's not too much you can do, you know. All right, thank you for joining us for our review of Barbie Collector Wonder Woman. Be sure to let us know in the comments what you guys think of her. Um, let us know if you've seen the Wonder Woman movie. If you're excited, it's finally out and that it's doing well. You know, shocker. <laughs> um, they've green. So far. Yes, I know they've greenlit a sequel. Everything. So, uh, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.